Devils hosting the Hurricanes game number three of round number two. The Hurricanes are plus 115 on the money line. The Devils are minus 135. The over-under is five and a half goals. The Hurricanes getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 245, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you would win. The Devils laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 195, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 7-3. and three. The home team's on a three-game winning streak. The Hurricanes are on a two-game winning streak. The Hurricanes are 7-3 and three against the Devils in their last 10 meetings against them. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line, while the underdog or the favorite getting or laying goals is 5-5 five and five on the puck line. There have been three one-goal games in their last 10, none in their last four. The over is hit in their last two. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. And the over six and a, uh, five and a half goals is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. Now, the last two games that they played, the Hurricanes won 6-1 to one and 5-1. to one. And in the previous game where they played in New Jersey, the Devils won 3-0. Now, we saw the Devils drop the first two games in similar fashion last series against the Rangers and came back and won that series. I'm going to just take a stab here and take the, the Devils with the money line. I'm going to take the Hurricanes getting the goals, and I'm going to go over in this game. I think that this is like a do-or-die game for the Devils, and they're going to come out and treat this game like a Game 7 because if they go down in this game, there's a very good chance that they get swept, and then, you know, the Hurricanes will have, you know, four games to win one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.